Ubuntu 20.04 LTS is one of the most feature-rich and high-performance versions among the Ubuntu family. V20.04 is the current long-term support iteration. So, let's talk about the installation. In this video, I will guide you to dual boot Ubuntu 20.04 with Windows 10 by creating a bootable USB. This is an in-depth video. So sit back and follow every step to install Ubuntu Linux alongside Windows. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions to download Ubuntu ISO and install using the bootable Ubuntu USB stick. Here's a brief list of steps. Download and make an Ubuntu bootable USB on Windows. Create free space for installation in Windows. Install Ubuntu 20.04 with Windows 10. Create a partitioning scheme for Ubuntu Linux. Configure general settings and finish the installation. Are you ready to install? Well, without wasting any time, let's dive into the Ubuntu installation guide. Before heading toward the Ubuntu installation, we also need to download Ubuntu ISO images and make a bootable USB from ISO. Hence, Download the Ubuntu 20.04 desktop from the official site. But to create a bootable USB on Windows 10, we require image writing software to burn Ubuntu ISO. For the same, I'm using the Balena Etcher software which you can download from official site. I choose Etcher because it burns ISO into USB without worrying about a partition scheme or file system format. Now we need to check whether we are in legacy or EFA mode. To do that open start menu and type system information. Open the program. This is very important part. As you can see my BIOS mode is EFA mode. You need to remember it whether are in legacy or EFA mode. After finish the download, then, connect the USB and the PC. Next you need to format the USB drive. Open this PC. Right click on USB drive then click on format. On file system choose FAT32. Then format it. Now install Letcher. Then, open the application to make a bootable USB. Click on Flash from File and a Windows dialog will prompt. Go to the location where you've downloaded the Ubuntu ISO and select that file. If your USB is already plugged in, Etcher will automatically detect your USB stick. If not, attach your USB to the system and make sure Etcher selects the right device. The USB flash drive should be larger than 4 GB. Finally click on the last stage flashing and Etcher will start burning ISO into USB.
Create a new partition drive in Windows. This is a preliminary step to create a separate free space in Windows 10 for Ubuntu installation. We'll use the pre-installed Windows Disk Management software to make a dedicated partition on the hard disk drive. However, you're free to use any third-party tool. Right-click on this PC and click Manage. Search in your Windows for Disk Management and click on it. Now, select the volume to extract and allocate space for installing Ubuntu. Right-click on the selected drive and choose Shrink Volume. Here, if you don't have any other volume, you can also use C Drive. Next, enter the space for Ubuntu OS in the prompt window. For smoother and better performance, Ubuntu always recommends at least 25 GB of free space. Hence, I would also suggest that you assign more than 25 GB. I have a 256 GB hard drive on my laptop, so I selected 50 GB. After filling in the space amount, click on Shrink and you'll notice a new unallocated space created where we'll now install Ubuntu 20.04. If you've successfully created a bootable USB, you can move forward by loading Ubuntu from the live USB stick. Restart your computer with a plugged-in USB and press F2 or F12 to enter the boot menu. For my PC, F12 is the key for the boot menu. You must use the key specified for your system manufacturer. Now from previously we checked BIOS mode. If you have legacy you select option which have only the name of the USB drive. If you have a EFA you select option which have a EFA mentioned along with the name of the USB drive. Your boot menu may differ based on the ohm of your PC. If you hear a beep sound and see a spinning wheel with the Ubuntu logo beneath. You're good to go. After a few seconds or a minute, the Ubuntu installer will start and display two options to proceed further. Choose Install Ubuntu. Select the keyboard settings as per your native language. Also, Make sure to uncheck download updates and check install third-party software during installation. Since we want to dual boot Ubuntu and Windows 10, choose something else to create a partition table manually. Partition schemes for Ubuntu can be a confusing part for beginners as it follows a different approach than Windows. As you continue, you will notice the NTFS type device that belongs to your installed Windows OS. If you want to keep Windows running alongside Ubuntu, don't touch any NTFS type device until you know how partition works. Moving forward, we will create two partitions for Ubuntu root and swap. You can also create other partitions like home. But these two are the most important that are required for Ubuntu installation. Select the free space option and click on the plus to add a new partition. Then, fill out the input field with values as displayed in the video. Type 40,000 which is 40 GB, select logical, and dash form this drop down. I also want to clarify that for each partition. I've chosen a standard size. You're completely free to change the partition size based on the space you've allocated for Ubuntu. Again, select the free space and create a swap area that acts as a virtual RAM memory. I gave 8 GB of space for the swap area based on my 50 GB total space for Ubuntu. 
The least space you can allocate for swap must not be less than your system RAM size. Finally, we're done with the partition table. Now you will have to select device for bootloader installation which is very important. If you get this wrong then you might not be able to boot into Ubuntu. From this drop down select the partition which you have this check mark. In this case I have the check marking in SDA5, so I am going to select SDA5 from this drop down and click on install now and continue. Select your location and select continue. At last, set up your username and password that you will use to log into the system. Always choose a strong password with alphanumeric and symbols. Click on continue and the installation process starts. It may take around 5 minutes until you can look over the slideshow displaying all software tools and applications. When the installation is finished, restart your system. The moment your system reboots, you will be directed to a bootloader with multiple options to boot with your installed OS. Since we have dual boot Ubuntu 20.04 and Windows 10, you have two main options. The rest is just a testing menu which you can ignore. Now if your computer boots automatically in Windows, you are in legacy mode. Do this only when you are in legacy mode. Open your browser and search for easy, B, C, D. Open the first link and download and install the program. Now launch the program. Click on Add Entry. Because I am in EFA mod the options are grey. Not available for me. Go to Linux tab. Select Grub2 from first drop down. Give the name like Ubuntu 20.04. Next choose Automatically Locate and Load. And click on this plus option. Like in the picture shown in the video. Close the program and you are good to go. And now when you restart the computer menu like this will appear. To choose between Ubuntu and Windows. Enjoy Ubuntu 20.04 LTS with Windows 10. 